I met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. I told him I want that great. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another video. And if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, then hey there, sac passe. My name is Valerie and I hope by the end of this video, you decide to subscribe. So as you guys can see by the title of this video, it is going to be a list of Netflix shows that I have personally watched throughout this crazy time in our lives right now. As y'all may know, we are all going through a world well, I guess you shouldn't say worldwide, but a quarantine here in America and it is really crazy you guys. I cannot believe everything that's going on right now. So I figured with all the craziness and all the commotion that we have going on in our lives right now, it would be a good time to get to filming again because I haven't posted in what seems like a few months. So yeah, but I would like to say thank you to my new subscribers who decided to subscribe based off my Dollar Tree video. That makes me so happy. So thank y'all so much. But yeah, yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys a list of good Netflix shows that I personally been watching and I personally love and hopefully some of the shows on the list are shows that you haven't seen yet so you can add that to your list and you have something fresh to watch. I have all my shows grouped together in what I feel like is a specific type of drama that way I could have I guess a clean sheet to follow so I have it here on my notes and the first category is drama slash thriller shows and the first one on the list is self-made inspired by the life of Madam CJ Walker and you guys I absolutely love this so if you guys don't know about it self-made is basically it's a it's a Netflix limited series, first of all, and what a limited series means on Netflix is basically what you see is what you get. You ain't gonna get more episodes, that's it. What they put out, that's all you get. And it's got four episodes in it in total, and each episode is about 46 to 49 minutes, not 50 minutes. So kind of got like some good backlash and bad backlash when it came out. A lot had to do with it being not 100% real and that's something that I feel like a lot of people do have to keep in mind even though you're watching a show or you're watching a movie they try to put as much as the facts in there but they it's Hollywood they're gonna add a little something into it for drama next on the list for my drama and thriller shows is Messiah and Messiah is a new show as well it just came out on Netflix I think about a month or two months ago so it only has one season but you guys it's so good so I highly recommend you to watch it so Netflix puts out a second season I absolutely love it so it's a one season 10 episode show and each episodes are about 40 to 50 minutes long and it's Honestly, I feel like one of Netflix's best shows, just like they filmed it really, really well, you guys. Next on the list for drama and thriller is definitely a drama and thriller filled show, I would say, and that is Netflix You, you guys. I love this show. You it has two seasons on there and each season has 10 episodes and I think each episode is about 40 let me see yeah each episode is about 45 to 48 minutes so like a short little movie and season three is coming in 2021 you guys so we never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. If you're one of those people who are like me that's like, oh, I'm gonna wait till the new season comes out and then watch it. We don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow and definitely in the time we live in right now. So sit down, grab your bag of popcorn and click on this show and watch it. Next on the list, you guys, is a show called V Wars and it is also a Netflix original. And like you, I've been watching the actor of this show for quite a bit of a while now Ian Summerholder I've been watching him since Vampire Diaries I did not watch him in Lost I know a lot of people have but I personally been watching him since Vampire Diaries so when I seen V Wars Ian Summerholder even though he's not a vampire in the show I had to watch it's a different type of vampire show but it's I love all type of vampire 
show movie i feel like if it's vampire related i'm watching it i don't know that's just ever since twilight i've been hooked i'm not too sure exactly when it came out but yeah it has one season 10 episodes and each episodes are about 36 to 50 minutes so you never know what you're getting one episode will be 36 minutes and one will be a whole 50 minutes so next on the list we have I feel like one of my favorite shows ever on Netflix and that's Insatiable. I think I said that right, Insatiable, Insatiable. Either or, if you guys haven't heard of this show then oh my gosh, you need to watch this show. I absolutely love this show. So the main actress, I guess you can say, or one of the main actresses is Debbie Ryan. And the show is kind of based off her life and her character. Her character's name is Patty. And it's just so funny, drama filled, and a little bit of thriller at the same time, you guys. So Insatiable has two seasons and the first episode the first season has at least 12 episodes in it and the second season has 10 episodes in it so two shy of the first season. So the next show on this list is actually a Russian robot show and it was a show filmed in Russia but translated into English so if you guys are thinking oh no I don't want to read subtitles you don't have to this show is absolutely amazing and it is called better than us you guys and I don't know how we stumbled upon this show I think we stumbled upon it after watching a movie and it just looked really good and really intriguing and I'm really happy that we watched it and it's one season and it has 16 episodes and each episodes are about 50 minutes each so yeah it's a really good binge I think it took us about I would say two to three days to finish it maybe a little bit longer because we weren't just watching it last on the list for drama and thriller shows is a show called the island and this is also a netflix original i feel like all the shows on this list yeah all the shows on this list were actually netflix originals but yeah this show is called the island and it also has one season and it came out in 2019 and it has seven episodes and each episode is about 40 minutes long i'm not sure if it's a limited series or not i haven't really heard anything on season two but the way season one left off i feel like it's not a limited series and hopefully we are gonna get some more episodes because it was really it was a really good show like it challenged your mind and challenged your thinking a lot and what you thought was real isn't real if you know what I mean so yeah so our next genre is competition like shows and the first thing I have on there is nailed it and I think everybody and their mama watches nailed it but if you haven't watched it yet then I'm just gonna give you a quick little run around about it so the original there's like two nailed it series i guess you can say there might be more but i only know of two there's nailed it and then nailed it holiday so the original one has three seasons six episodes per season and the holiday one i didn't actually put that information down but that's how I came to terms with that show and fell in love with. Next on the list for competition like shows is a show called Instant Hotel. And this show is actually really good, you guys. So the basis and gist of it is basically like a group of four, five, sometimes more people um, get together and they each have an instant hotel. And an instant hotel is basically an Airbnb that they have and they host guests in and they're each gonna stay at each other's Airbnb instant hotel and give each other a rating. And at the end of the episode, somebody wins based off the overall rating. So yeah, it's a really good show and it has two seasons. 12 episodes in season one and six episodes in season two. So next on the list is Fastest Car 2. And this show has two seasons. Season one has eight episodes and season two has seven episodes. And each episodes are about 40 to 50 minutes each. And I absolutely 
love this show. My fiance Corey actually started watching this show first without me and I just stumbled upon while he was watching it and fell in love with it too. Next on the list is Netflix The Circle and I'm absolutely surprised how much I actually like this show. At first when I read the description I'm like mm, social media competition. I'll probably watch it because a little fun fact about me, I'm like completely off of social media now. I'm off of Facebook, off of Instagram. We're not big social media people. So when we watched this show, we were actually really surprised how much we ended up liking it, but it's such a good show, you guys. So yeah, they have one based now in Brazil and France, but I didn't watch those. I just watched the one based here in America and it has one season and 12 episodes. That's on my competition like show list. I guess it's not really a competition show, but at the end of the episode, they do get a grade or a rating and it is called Doomsday Preppers. And this is not a Netflix original. It's actually a National Geographic show and it only has season two on there for some reason, but it's really good, you guys. Somehow Netflix recommended it to us during this Corona quarantine virus and like it definitely I feel like did not help when it came to buying groceries for us because we were watching this show and it's basically based around prepping for end of the day circumstances. Like I was saying, it's a really good show and like I said, it's only season two on there, but it has 18 episodes and if you want to watch it on your cable provider, then you can go ahead and do that. Apparently the show ran from 2012 to 2014 and they have four seasons in total. So the next genre we are going to be tackling is absolutely what I feel like is my favorite or one of my favorite type of shows to watch and that's family comedy and sitcom like shows and that's basically like comedy shows or family shows you watch and then you'll hear laughter in the background like from the audience like ah. so yeah even though some people think it's really corny i absolutely love these type of shows and i've been getting my fiance on a few of them that i've been watching and one of them that i want to recommend to you guys is marlin oh my gosh you guys if you have not First of all, I'm mad at Netflix because I had to find this show on my own. They did not recommend this show to me. I did not see it. So Marlon has two seasons on Netflix. Each season has 10 episodes and each episode is 21 minutes each. So yeah, you guys, I highly recommend it. Definitely give it a try if family sitcoms are like your thing or if you just like Marlon and go ahead and give it a watch, you guys, because girl, he gonna make you laugh. So next on the list is Mr. Iglesias. And if you guys haven't heard of this one as well, then I'm not surprised because I swear Netflix leaves all their good shows under a rock and you literally have to dig for them. But this show, you guys, is so funny. So this show does have one season on Netflix, but a season two is coming. I think I read that somewhere. A season two is coming, but it does have one season, 10 episodes in that season. So yeah, it's really good, you guys. And after you watch it, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and support Mr. Iglesia. Next on the list is Family Reunion, and it's such a good show, you guys. So this show has two parts. For some reason, Netflix doesn't call it season, they call it parts, so yeah. This show has two parts. Part one has 10 episodes, and part two has nine episodes, and it's just, it's such a good show, you guys. I actually stumbled upon it based off their Christmas special. I think it was a movie. I'm not so sure, but it was so funny, so cute. And just, I don't know, you guys. I just love family sitcoms. I love a fun, wholesome, loving, picking at each other here and there, family dynamics. So last but not least, the category I'm moving on to right now is called Mature Cartoon Comedy Shows. I feel like so bad that I love these type of shows, but this is my jam, okay? Every night, I'm either going to sleep to one of these shows or Family Guy, 
American Dad, Bob's Burgers. So first on the list is F is for Family and this one is absolutely my favorite one. Like it's like neck and neck with Family Guy right now for me. Like this is my Family Guy for Netflix. I absolutely love this show. It has three seasons on there. Season one has six episodes and season two and three has 10 episodes and season four is coming this year. So they haven't said exactly when it's coming out. We don't really have a month yet. They've just been saying 2020 for like a whole year now. It's so funny. I highly recommend it, but it is, like I said, a mature, comedy cartoon show so there are really graphic parts in it and if you're not okay with that then don't watch it so next on the list is bojack horseman and sadly i'm the only one in my household who got it and bojack horseman has six seasons so this one is definitely binge worthy you will not run out of episodes anytime soon but yeah bojack horseman has six seasons and the season six is the final season i just finished it myself and was really sad about it but yeah season one has uh oh season one through five has 12 episodes and season six has 16 episodes so they do give you a little more in the finale last on the list for the mature adult comedy shows it's last you guys because it's the worst you have to be like open with your comedy and just like don't take things too seriously to be able to enjoy this show if you take things too seriously in life this show is not for you but if you don't i highly recommend this show it will have you laughing your butt off so this show is called paradise pd so part one has 10 episodes in it and part two has eight episodes in it and i'm pretty sure there will be a part three coming out just because of how part two ended and it's just so funny you guys highly recommend it after you watch it definitely give it a thumbs up so netflix knows to just keep these shows All coming right, y'all that was it for the video definitely don't forget to give it a big thumbs up on your way out as well as hit the subscribe button and join my little youtube family i would love for you guys to join me and definitely check out my next video that i have coming up soon so yeah and if you guys have any recommendations recommendations for me then definitely leave it down in the comments down below I would love to try out some new shows as well because this quarantine life got your girl got your girl bored and stuck your girl over here watching everything so yeah leave me comments down below letting me know what I can watch next and I hope that you decided to subscribe like I said and I will catch y'all in the next video bye guys I want to do it all with you by my side if you're in meet me here